Hello friends, it has been a while. I'm Flowey and I'm back here on the FreeCAD Academy to bring you the newest stuff to learn FreeCAD properly. The key factor to learn FreeCAD is actually self-practice. You have to practice yourself a lot. Watching videos alone does not make you a better designer. So what you have to do is to create things. Sometimes you will fail, sometimes you will have success, but you will only get better by practice. And so I'd like to introduce you to my latest exercise for beginners. I call it flange, carburetor flange here. A very simple part that consists only of a pad that's based on a simple sketch. As you see here, there's the sketch and one fillet operation to round off the sharp corner here on the top of the part. I'm going to upload a technical drawing for this part here into my GitHub repository and post you the link under the video in the comments and in the video description. You should try yourself to create this exercise. You can pause the video here and try it yourself, maybe for 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 minutes based on your experience. And after that, you can continue watching this video here and watch my solution. We start this video here in FreeCAD version 0.20. It's the FreeCAD version 26858 from the Git repository. I'm going to post you a link in the video description how to get this new FreeCAD version. We start in the part design environment, very important. And we start by creating a new body and a new sketch in this body. So we switch to the tasks tab here in the combo view, create a body and create a sketch. That's the first two things we need to do. Now we have to define where the sketch should be located. And I want it to be located on the X, Y plane so that we have a nice look on the sketch from the top view. So X, Y plane and OK. So we have a close look on the technical drawing. There are three circles, two smaller circles with a diameter of 24 millimeters. And in the center of the part, we have a larger hole with a diameter of 60 millimeters. So that should be the first thing we do. And I would like to start with the center circle. So I click the circle command here, center circle, select the center point of the sketch, the origin point, and wait until I see this little icon for the coincident constraint and I start dragging. Okay, right click, quit the command and zoom out a little bit. Let's pan the view so it stays nicely centered. Now in FreeCAD 20, we have this new command here that's called constraint arc or circle. So we can use this without the need to switch between constraining radius and constraining diameter, just constraint auto. So we click this circle and you see that FreeCAD asks us to insert a diameter. We select 60 millimeters and click OK. Now we can zoom in a little bit because now we know about the scaling of the rest of the geometry. The next thing we need to do is to create this two smaller circles. So we select the circle again. And we have a close look that we constrain the circle onto the horizontal axis here, first and second. Now to give them the equal size, we just select both, select the left and select the right one, and then click the auto constraint, diameter 24, and automatically they get this little equal constraint here that you can see, these circles now are always equal. We have two degrees of freedom left, meaning just the horizontal position for this circle and this circle. But as we see from the technical drawing, we have a symmetric part here. We can select the center point of the left circle, the center point of the right circle and the vertical axis, and then click on the symmetry constraint. Constraint symmetrical, with two points respect to a line. So now we always have the symmetry to this vertical axis. And when we drag this circle here, you will see that the right circle drags accordingly. From the technical drawing, we read that there is a horizontal distance between this and this point of 60 millimeters. So constraint horizontal distance, 60 millimeters. 
that already looks very good. All we're missing right now is the outline. And now this outline is a perfect example for you to practice the polyline tool from FreeCAD. We select the polyline. I always recommend starting with a straight line and the straight line in the part is, for example, between this point here and here. After this straight line, we click the M key on the keyboard three times and we create this nice arc here. Okay, and then the next straight line, it does not have to be perfect in the beginning. M, 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 another arc here, another straight line, M, 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 another arc, yep, somewhere like here, another straight, and M, 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 the last arc, make it hit this point. And as you can see, a tangent constraint is not created automatically. Keep that in mind, we do not have a tangent constraint between this arc and this line here. Unlike here, we have the tangent, here we have the tangent, here, 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 and here. So the first thing you should do is to repair that and add the tangent constraint. So select this line and the arc and then go to tangent. Okay, so now we have tangent constraints between all lines and arcs, we can continue fixing the sketch. And we know that this radius and this circle here are concentric, so we can select this center point and the center point of the circle and just click on coincident constraint. And now the radius and the circle are concentric, meaning they have the same point for their center point. The same applies here. Just drag it a little bit over here so it looks almost right and then select these two center points and click on coincident. The next thing is with these two center points, we can make them coincident with the large circle in the middle. And all of a sudden the part looks a lot more as in the technical drawing. Next thing, we need to select these two radius here and click on the constraint automatically, radius or diameter, and it's 24 millimeters. Okay, two degrees of freedom left, very nice. That means the two values for these two radiuses here. So select both and constraint radius 50 millimeters. Okay, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, the color of the sketch is changing, giving us the information that we have a fully constrained, clear sketch. As you can see here in the solver message is fully constrained. I can close it and now I can pad it. We're back in part design environment and we select the sketch and click the pad command. We have to enter a length for the pad and that's 60 millimeters. Okay, and we are almost done. When I started with FreeCAD and I wanted to round the complete corner here, from here to here to here to here and so on, I didn't know that you can select just one edge as long as it's a tangent edge. And as you remember from the sketch, we have a full tangency between all these edges here. So we only need to select one edge, for instance, this one here, and we click the fillet command. Now we have to enter the radius for the fillet. In this example, I use four millimeters. Click the tab button and yes, you see, you get a nice preview of the rounded edge here. Okay, and that's it. I hope you found the same solution as I did. Please write in the comments if this was easy for you or it was too complicated. And if you have other ideas what you want to tell me or how to improve, just let me know in the comments. And see you next time.